Sky Plus preview or Virgin Media viewers, please press the red button. If you have a TiVo box or Sky Q box, please access settings and use the audio selection option. Any problems, please contact our viewers hotline. Drawelli at Grew Scoria. <laughs> Cymru sydd dani heddi i chi, mae'n gen barbi go iawn yn y gogledd ddwy rhoi. Y ffrint gartre yn ebyn Ceicona, ond hefyd dyma gartre Ceicona. Felly mae'n pawb o chwarae gartre. Ych wneud i â tynnu rheolwr Ceicona Neil Gibson yn arfer rheolwr ffrint. Pawb yn hen gyfarwydd a'i gilydd. Felly, croeso at hynny, lle yn yr oedd dolang o Banc Cymru sy'n desgwyl yr enillydd yn cadw cwmni i fi heno rhywun sy'n sgorion rhwng dyrfynol o Banc Cymru. Sean Moredi yng Ngwestai. Mae Dani un gwestai arall hefyd. Morris y gwynt. Wedi i'n mynd ag ynddyn ni. Pwys yn cynta, Sean, i'n gwallt fyd iawn yn y gwynt. Ie, fyna dlaw ma, fyd. Mae'n blyfni. O ddifri, pa mor anodd yr amgylchiadau? Wel, o da meirio nathbatol dwi wedi adal. Ie, keep the high balls low. A dyn yn union beth fydd rhaid i'n mwy dîm â wneud heddi. Achos mae'r gwynt yn gryf ar y deg. Mae'r tipyn o'r gorwynt ma. Ac i'n son weithiau bod yr amodau'n helpu un tîm neu llac. Dwi'n mynd teimlo fel bod yn helpu neb fyny. Nol eiau bod yn gyfarwydd ar stadiwm, gan bod y ddau yn chwarae yma. Ie, yn sicr. Dwi'n bod mae mor wyntog yn hyn o bryd. Gobeith o'n eich pethau bethau gystewi ychydig, ond mae fe mor gryf yn hyn o bryd. Mi fydd yn ymwneud helpu naill tîm ar stach. Mi wedi cyngaid ar dyfarnwr sy'n hapus ar cyfan, nor andi o gelwch ac ati. Ond mae rai bod yn ffactor, ond mae'n ffeithio'r bêl, mae'n ffeithio'r chwreiwyl i ddynod yn sefyll ran. Wel, yn eithaf, oedd i'n diolch i cymeriad cicio cornel yr enghraifft, cael y bêl na'i sefyll. Mae'n ffeithio'r bêl, mae'n nôl i'r hen dyddi yr ynghmith, mae'n rhoi'n rhoi bys ar y bêl, gawn ni weld, ond ie, mae'n fy'n ffactor. O ran y gêm, mae Ceicon yn ail yn i'w chyngoed Cymru JD y ffrint wedi disgyn, ond yn cael tymor da yn drydydd yn y gogled, heb golli, cod faint yw'r bwlch. Ni ddim yn gwrs llawer o glybiau is yn achos i sioc dydd yma yn y cwpa. Ni wedi gallu digwydd heno? Fi allai fe, achos mae nifer o chwreiwyr y ffrint yn gen nhw chwreiwyr o Geiconoth. Gwrs, James Davis yn gatyn, Jake Phillips, Harris yn y gati. Felly, fyddwn nhw'n gwybod siwt i siap o lan yn erbyn Geiconoth fel petai. Gen i weld sydd eithi. Ni wedi gallu llawer o galniadau anesgwyl penwthnos yma. Dewch chi'n iadrych yn ôl ar y hyn sydd wedi digwydd hyd yn hyn. Dechreuodd y cyfan neithiwr yn y de ar ddau glwb sydd ar y brig yn y de. Llan sawel yn cwrdd a llan ellig dim yn gwahanu'n o ran pwyntiau tymor yma. Gwaneth goliau'n unig yw'r gwahaniaeth ac un gol oedd y gwahaniaeth neithiwr hefyd. Luke Bowen sydd wedi bod yn sgorio ers blynyddoedd yn taro eto. Tipyn o gol chwarae teg. Mae nhw drwy oedd yr oedd ola. Llan ellig i'r lenni cyn pen y bont a llan wedyn i pnawn ma y balad i ennill yn ceirau yng Nghaerau Chelai a gol geidwad i sgorio. Dyn gwynt ble i'n ffyrbio. Cael yn Absalom a St. Yn Ewydd yn gyfforfus. Mynydd y ffrint drwod. Mae nhw'n y drydedd hain ar o'r ennill nefyn de gwyr hefyd yn y drydedd hain. Ar mae mynydd y ffrint fel arfer yn chwarae ar y craith ma hefyd. Felly, gallu nhw wedi chwarae gartre hefyd. A met drwod ar gicio'r smotyn. Bwclyd i ennill nefyn ffordd madog hefyd. Dyna ni, felly, o ran yr hyn sy'n i digwydd hyd yn hyn. Dewch chi'n i glywed gan y gŵr yng ngofal y tîm cartre. Ffrint i'r tîm cartre. Lee Fawrer yw'r rheolwr. League Cup football, a very different challenge. Expected a very difficult game. Just for I think it was really involved there. They're playing some really good football and I think our pitch has really helped them. So we know we're going to be up to a difficult task. But we played them last season, it was nil-nil. We knew we had to work very hard and we've just got to try and uh, combat their weaknesses. In terms of Flint time, we spoke with Jake Phillips during the week and he spoke a lot about the mentality of this group of players and the difference between fighting to stay in the Cymru Premier but now competing at the top in the Cymru North. 
Does that allow a lot more positivity with this group and how valuable will this be today? Definitely. I think it started with me last season. I was at a difficult task in terms of, you know, I don't want to talk too much about budgets, but ultimately we're in a different mind frame. I'm in a different mind frame. I can play the style of football that suited to what, how I played when I was a player. And I think we've, we've gone to the mentality is that we've kept the same discipline and set the same sort of the ambition to get back to the Welsh Premier League. But we're playing free-flowing football now. And I think we want to stick to our principles. Um, every game last season, I, I didn't enjoy watching what I did, but I had to do what I had to do to try and get results. But this season, the lads are really bought into it. And the senior pros have helped me out massively, which, which you expect from senior pros. And they've bought into everything we're doing. And because we're dominating the ball now and we're also winning games of football, which is, which is massively important, that gives you an even bigger buy-in when you're winning games. Of course, it's a local derby this evening. It could get quite tasty out there, Lee. How do you make sure that your players are fully focused on the task at hand? I would just go out and play as they are. I think, you know, you can't treat this game any differently. So if we're playing Landidlois or Hollywell or anywhere like that, I just want the lads to go and express themselves. I don't want them to be fearful. Um, Connors are a very good team, but they're not a TNS type of team where you, you, you know, it's like a free hit comment, which I had last season. I expect the lads to go out and fully enjoy themselves. And you know, I expect it to be a good game. We're not daft. We know they beat Barry Town 7 0 last week. So uh, I did say previous to the, the team night out that, you know, if you don't think we can beat Connors Key, don't turn up. We beat Barry Town 7 0. And I had a message from one of the players saying, uh, looks like you'll be training on your own this week. But it is what it is. That, uh, the game will take care of itself and, and up a massive. Um, Belief in my players. The next Lee Fowler, I'm the head yard, I'm the show, I'm the head I'm a couple of yard I'm going to talk about the son of Annie. Did all go out of Flint when he was destined and got to Morda? I'm going to high heaven, my torvey than that, given a game of Darby. And a lot of my son doesn't be good with it, fucking disc in. Yeah, we have a ring bit of weird and um and a day heavy to what you know, club with a nasty man on the high one has been but it's a great club here, but then Darby, you know, that's the and he's and he had a shot at uh Mark Williams in a put him coach uh Panama. I think we think you there. The football them and the event or commitment, I to veil eating off on it. So I'm a very much was this game and a day of Gadel, Los Wainer, what a game or decide on when you know when we've been tipping a one yet or on the level our commitment. I'm on Dali Son, but then I just had a strike there. Can you help it out? Or on the knee, or on King Connor, I didn't even know the door already summoned even in. Man, on Dean Gohan, all the only fellow you then who done Andy Morrison, Cray with Ivanka, Cafroy, Kimedalam, or Harry Franklin, Declan Poole, and Cray, a cat team, and on the Dean Gohan, all with him, and he. Yeah, I mean, uh, Jordan Davis, if he, uh, but uh, to all the Cray Rossi, he had to do the X Factor, you know, but I guess, uh, Jordan Zuvo and Kimedi Pale, Troy, I'm dipping heavy, we put some. Uh, but you go to Hara and you ask as well. He Franklin, but he man on man on score your goal, your Guhano, and man on Hara will team Guhano than Neil Gibson. Right, you mean you go to Big Daddy? To Tawel, he's like Daddy. You mean you go to Goil? You saw them play some hard games. We've got my advert keyboard and all. And Goil your score your. But of course, top one can really unveil when they know where they're going.
Does not have to be Scorio and Vew or Flint Tenor. Game Barbie and Kofan Kamri. It's just a way at the Freyog and we oit side side. No, then that. And a bit better. My Vedal. Thank you, Medal. I'm a bit. I'm sure it's going to be called Sal Game and I'm just here to have a hit in the dust of Bunner Boy. I'm sure Bunner Eddie. Becky Tamani. He's team of Kina Kamri JD. A cat hip got King and Red. A god led. A Ryan Vanyarin Kai. And for you, he's in Karad around the right all. I'm on a full evidence this night. We've got English language commentary. Available as usual tonight on the even if it points to where we next that have only the sword. My wind dog, I can wish to my and David Young, the team so where we all in on you. So, best so many it's Malcolm Allen and Nick Paddy. Yeah, good uh, evening, good afternoon, and welcome to uh, Castlefield here at uh, Flint. It's uh, Flint third in the JD Cymru North. And they're playing at home against Connors Key, who also play at home here at the Castlefield. They're second in the uh, JD Cymru Premier. And uh, both sides, considering, of course, uh, the home side conditions this evening are absolutely awful. It's very windy. It's uh, raining really, really heavily. It's uh, a local derby few miles separating both these sides and uh, team news for you now for the uh, for the home side Lee Fowler makes wholesale changes from the team that lost 4-3 at home against Denby eight players with uh, Welsh Premier experience Jake Phillips Louis Akpa Akpro and Louis Lacey keeping their places as for Connors Key well Neil Gibson no changes in the side that beat Barry Seven goals to nil for the third game in a row. Three excellent players in Ben Nash, Kai Edwards and Jack Kenny. Just looking at uh, Flint there, Bryn, they're playing the back five. They'll play the back five, I think uh, they'll go with that to try and shut up shop with the... Uh, Uh, Connors Key, they'll play with the diamond in midfield. A uh, really good side, Connors Key. Uh, lots of plays in form. We've got Elliot Reeves there, scoring goals in the Cymru North. Causing defences in the Cymru North problems. And he'll be looking to make his mark tonight. Uh, There's the Declan there. Poole, top of the assists in the Welsh JD Premier, five assists in his last two games, in great form and we'll see him playing right back, getting up and down and I'm sure he'll be looking to add to that assist tally tonight Well the voice there of uh, Mark Williams and uh, I should have welcomed you Mark good evening, uh, good belated evening. good evening, Canavan Town player of course, and uh, dare I say it's that uh, you lost you're not playing today because you lost to uh, Connors Key We did indeed uh, I wanted to forget about that, Bryn. Uh, thanks for reminding me. Uh, I've had a couple of uh, bad results versus Connors Key. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to this one, though. A good, it doesn't get as um, much local in this, so it's going to be a good evening uh, in, a, like, like you said, horrendous uh, conditions. Good crowd in this evening. Mark Petch is our referee from uh, Connors Key. And it's uh, the visitors. We had to call Connors Key the visitors this evening who are playing in uh, the customary red and uh, no surprise Mark really that uh, Gibbo didn't make any changes third consecutive game beat uh, Barry Town 7-0 last time out so uh, he he'd be mad not to change to, to change things rather certainly with the 7-0 win they'll be coming in here lots of confidence um, and as I said they've been, they've been in good form all year I think just the one blip a few weeks back Hanford West but other than that you know, a good, good, formidable side now in the in the Welsh Prem, and they'll be looking to continue their good form. And Flint as well. Well, we've got to mention that uh, their third mentioned that in the JD Cymru North, but uh, they haven't lost a game this season at all either. So uh, we've got a, a tasty clash ahead of us. 
Yeah, they're doing well in the Cymru North, Bryn. I think the experience they've got, the lots of players that have played in the Welsh Prem, and when you do drop that level, you know, that experience is, is huge. Uh, and, yeah, I'm sure Lee Fowler will be looking to try and get to the top of that league and get them back, you know, in the Welsh Prem. Throw in to uh, the visitors. It's a Declan Pool. He won the Cup with Connors Key in 2017-18. Kaya does, of course, Cup winner as well. Three times with the TNS and with the Connors Key. Callum Roberts, or Callum Morris, I should say. Also a, a Cup winner with the Connors Key. There's a Disney's jest caught out there by uh, Jean-Louis Akba Akbro. And uh, Mark Petch awards the free kick to the home side. Yeah, good start for Flint there. They'll be looking to now just cause a few problems, get it into the box. Just Disney's caught him a little bit late there. Yeah, it was good pressure there as well by Chris Kavanagh. He's uh, just playing in that hole, isn't he? He's, uh, he's got number nine in his shirt, but he's playing in the number 10 position. And uh, Jake Phillips and uh, Louis Lacey over the ball for Flint. Everybody back for Connors Key. Now oh, it's Lacey, just leaves it for Phillips. Phillips. And uh, headed away by uh, Jordan Davis. Only as far as uh, Owen Owen whips the ball back in. It's a deep one. The wind carried out. And we saw there, Mark. Wow. Just the effect the wind's having. Yeah, just back to that free kick there. I think Jake be a little bit disappointed. First one of the night, uh, as you say, the wind's really blown into the Connors Key goalkeeper there. Uh, and Flint will be trying to utilise this uh, in the first half. Well, it's a, a blustery westerly wind. The, the rain just blowing across, as, like curtains across the, uh, the field from left to right. There's at first into the teeth of the wind it actually crosses the halfway line and uh, Sol Ford just uh, lets the ball run out it's going to be one of those nights I think Mac it will yeah it can be really difficult especially as a play you turn up you know you've got that Welsh Cup feeling within you and, and you get here and the conditions are like this and that's where you go back to basics it's about that you know hard work you, you have to play the game uh, and it might be a case we might have to see a different Connors Key tonight you know recently they've been so good at keeping the ball uh, and creating chances and, and tonight it might be as I say a bit more back to front like the uh, and the Morrison Phillips he's got a long throw Jake Phillips looking for uh, Elliot Reeves that one just uh, runs straight through and uh, across it goes just a uh, technical apology and, uh, we understand that the, the floodlights are flashing on your screen, so just apologies for that. Hope it doesn't uh, affect too much on your enjoyment. As Franklin just plays the ball, as uh, Declan Poole just forages down the right hand side once again. Nash, one of three former Flint players in the Connors Key side Ben Nash, Kai Edwards, and Jack Kenny. Davis. Lovely ball out to Ryan Harrington. Harrington. Now can he get his cross away? He's got three in the box waiting for the ball. He comes into the near post. And it's just forced home. Well, Harrington, it was Jack Kenny who was there. Was it Jack Kenny? Was it Harry Franklin with the final touch? We haven't reached the five-minute mark yet. The visitors ahead. It's the last thing Flint would have wanted so early on. It's great play down the left-hand side. Just before that, the pass from Jordan Davis is exquisite. He drove it outside. Great play from Norrington. A good ball into the box. We're just watching it. There's that pass. They get it out wide. They do this so well, Connor Skay. It's really difficult to play against. And we're just going to see now who's... I think it's an... Was it, was it Jack Kenny? I think it was Kenny, was it? I don't think Franklin had a touch at all, did he? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, that's Harrington with the ball in. I think Kenny gets a touch here, Mark. Yeah, it, no, uh, was it an own goal? It's off Stevens. It's off Stevens. It's an own goal of Anthony Stevens. The worst possible start for Flint. 
So five minutes played, and uh, it's Anthony Stevens with the own goal. Well, he couldn't do anything about that, really, could he? We can see here. Yeah, just just diverted in off his left knee, I think, didn't it? Yeah, he's just misjudged the cross. It's really difficult for defenders. You're facing your own goal, and again, it just shows the importance of getting crosses into the box. It causes problems, which it did there for Steven. Just controls the ball, Anthony Stevens, Harrington. Here's uh, his uh, foraging run down the left-hand side that uh, led to the goal. Edwards, there's John Disney, on his key captain, Nash. Franklin, lovely oh, great touch. touch, great touch indeed. And past uh, and Sol Ford who was there, and the ball just cleared away. And, uh, Flint with his back three mark of uh, Sol Ford, Danny Harrison and Anthony Stevens, and uh, doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Yeah, it's difficult. Obviously, you can see early, um, and, and it's almost everything that Lee Fowler would have done before the game goes out the window. Uh, they need to regroup. You know, there's lots of time left. Uh, they just need to settle down into this tie now. You've just seen it there, a little bit of confusion between Sol and Joe Williams, but they just need to settle into this cup tie. Joe Williams, former Carnarvon player. And it's a Harrington once again with the ball. Oh, the wind just holds that one up. And uh, infringement in the box. Did you play with Joe Williams at Carnarvon? I didn't. Uh, I played against him a few times. Yeah. Uh, we had, we've had a few good battles <laughs> over the years. So he'd left. He left, he left was it? Before not last season, season before, was yeah. it? Did he go to Colwyn Bay last season? He went season? to Colwyn Bay. We tried yeah. to get him over at Clanded, no. Um, but unfortunately we couldn't get him across the line we thought we had him at one point solid player Joe Williams yeah he, uh, and that's a good was, shift wasn't he? yeah and that's what I was saying Bryn about the the Flint side here you look at the likes of Harrison James Owen really experienced players you know Steve-O you know they've been around almost for many years playing at this level and, and it's down to them type of players and characters now just to to settle into this tie and and, you know, start stringing a few passes together. Long ball forward, looking for Reeves. It, uh, just dealt with comfortably there. And an opportunity again for Declan Poole. Yes, and my brows raised pre-match, uh, Mark, when Declan Poole was named as the right back. You know, because you question his... You know, I don't know, who am I to question his defensive uh, capabilities? But... Uh, He's a more forward-thinking player, isn't he? He is, yeah. I mean, when I've played Declan personally, we always find him on the right wing. I think, you know, Connors can have a lot of the ball, um, but they do like to utilise the flanks. And, and with that, Declan's got extremely good ability on the ball. So by playing the diamond four, it allows them to have the midfield players that they've got. And we're going to see it now. Declan's on the overlap, and I think that's the outlet for them. So that's why it, it suits him really well, actually, to play in that position. But as you said, it'll be interesting going the other way. Lovely touch by Poole to Jordan Davis. Davis into Kenny. Kenny, can he turn? Kenny got his shot away, took a deflection. And uh, Flint just need to weather this figurative storm. I mean, there's a stormy weather and there's a storm for them on the pitch as well. Yeah, really good play again down this right side. Good ball from Jordan Davis. It's a great touch by Kenny. He started really lively and good defending by Harrison. Played with Danny at Chester, uh, uh, as, you know, centre mid. Then, so he's obviously, you know, dropped back into that centre of the back three. And, and I think that experience that he's got, you know, he brought it to Chester when he came from Tranmere. In, you know, will be look, uh, Flint will be looking for players like that to be, you know, stand up and be counted. Forty-one years old now. Makes me feel young, <laughs> <laughs> As Disney just uh, finds Harrington, just Franklin to Noah Edwards. This is Harrington, Franklin, just uh, gives the ball away cheaply there, almost to Reeves, but uh, all the second balls just falling kindly for Connors Key, playing into the wind in this first half as uh, Disney to Edwards, Edwards. Franklin just lets the ball run, and I think it was a, a miscontrol there for once by uh, Harry Franklin, 
and it runs out for a throw into it. He's human after all. He scored a hat trick in 10 minutes against me a few weeks ago, so <laughs> <laughs> he's in good form as well, Harry Frank Franklin. Good player, come to the Welsh Prem, played with the Maaba when he came from the English system, and, and yeah, he's, he's been in really good form this season. Now, oh, good play by Reeves. Reeves, you saw the run by uh, Louis Lacey, but uh, the pass from uh, Elliot Reeves didn't quite reach where it's supposed to, and there's an opportunity for Connors Key to break down the left hand side. Spoke about Declan Paul Brain regarding the defensive duties, he's covered round really well there, good interception. Just shows Flint on the break there. They might be able to cause a few problems. This is uh, Harry Franklin to uh, Edwards, out to Jordan Davis. Davis waiting for the overlap again of Declan Poole. And he's got space to get that cross in. Looking for Franklin. Falls to Edwards. Edwards! And cleared away by, uh, I think it was Phillips on the far post. Or it was it Joe, Ed Joe Williams, wasn't it? On the far post. Falls to Disney. Disney! Shaping up for a shot, it's to Poole. Poole's got four or five in the box. If he can get past the Lacey, does so to the far side, headed back in and uh, comfortable for Josh Tibbetts. Really good play again by Declan Poole. Just as we got in the box, Noah's taking it past him. I just thought there was a little pull on the back, uh, but the, the chance just got, got away from them. But it's a really good start from Connors Key. Josh Tibbetts, we've, we've not mentioned him yet, Mark, and uh, he's just signed this week for Flint. He was a free agent uh, since leaving Carnarvon the end of uh, last season. Yeah, well, I've seen him in pre-season, did a couple of training sessions. Uh, he got injured, he left the WhatsApp group, he retired, <laughs> and now he's here tonight. <laughs> so <laughs> It's amazing what you can do in football. A lot of players just struggle leaving the game, I think. You think you're ready to finish and you have a few weeks, months off and you want to get back out there. That's why I'm still playing. <laughs> yeah, Tibbetts, former Carnarvon and Ballard Town keeper. It's debut this evening for Flint Town United. Jordan Davis. And a rare touch for Andy Firth. So Anthony Stevens' his goal. Own goal after five minutes. And it's Flint nil. Connors Key one. Fourth round of the uh, the Welsh Cup. Edwards just motors forward. Another former Carnarvon Town player, of course, Mark. Yeah, no had, had a great spell at Carnarvon, didn't he? And I think he was the fans' favourite. You know, and he's that that energy that he gives in midfield really difficult to play against, and always chips in with a few goals as well. An all-round midfielder in there. Ball through, looking for the run of uh, Ryan Harrington. And, uh, approaching the uh, the 15 minute mark, and uh, Connors keep well comfortable at the moment. Would you rather they're playing into the wind in the first half here, Connors Key? Uh, you know, as yourself playing for Carnarvon or whatever. Would you rather play into the wind the first half? So that's behind you in the second. It's really difficult. Um, you would think it would be that way. Uh, and every time I seem to, have, you know, being a captain at Abba, uh, I, I used to, you know, get told to go that way. And we, we'd always lose. And it was like, oh, do we, do we try and get in the lead and then, you know, hold on to it? So it's really difficult. Um, I remember actually playing at Carnarvon. Just going to watch this. Declan Paul cool. again down the Stevens right. with the header. And I actually went went against what I normally did. And everyone was hemmed and hard. We went 3-0 that night. So yeah. um, it's a difficult one. So the message is go against your instincts. Yeah. <laughs> Morris. <laughs> to uh, Ryan Harrington. And again, Declan Poole, it's that outlet down that right-hand side. Just, uh, just held up by uh, Reeves, lovely ball to Noah Edwards. Reeves, lovely turn, but uh, just a hopeful punt at field. Nash. Franklin. Morris out to Ryan Harrington. He's seen quite a bit of the ball out on the left hand side. This is Ryan Harrington. Disney. Poole. 
Just looking there, Bryn, 72% for Connors Key. You know, that just shows the start they've had in the first 15 minutes here. Yeah, they've dominated possession really, haven't they? Harrington to Morris. Oh, it does just crowd it out there in uh, in midfield by Riz Kavanagh. And uh, just an opportunity here, Mark, for Flint just to ease some of the pressure and just move upfield. And that's it, they've just got to start keeping the ball. We've just seen the percentages there, you know, 72% to Connors Key. They've started well. And we just they need that platform up top, hold up the play, bring the midfielders into play and just settle into this game. You know, it almost looks like a like an easy match for Connors Key at the moment. There's not a tackle out there, there's there's not much intensity from Flint. But they're gonna have a chance. Oh. Or it was going to drop for Akpro then. Just need to to get a bit tighter to the Connors Key players. It, it almost like, looks like they've got the freedom of the park at the moment. Yeah, they've got space. I mean, Declan Poole, he's having far too much space down this uh, down the right hand side. And it's uh, Disney. He's playing at the base of the diamond. It's really difficult playing against the diamond because not. A, We'll just see lovely more. play by Noah Edwards back to Jordan Davis. Oh, what a save! Josh Tippett, what a save! Jordan Davis was uh, nailed on to score the second there. That's Josh's comeback save there. A really good shot stopper. He's shown that over the years. What a save that is! Good play by Noah Edwards, isn't he? Yeah, he makes them runs up, up, you know, every time you play him. He's full of energy, as I said. Great pullback. I don't think Jordan Davis could have done anything else, but it's just a great save from Tibbetts. Disney. Just beyond it. the big men up from the back. Kai Edwards was there. Just saying about the formations before uh, that shot there, Bryn. When, with the, with the diamond that Koniski have, because they've got four players central it can be so difficult even though they've got the back five you can almost get taken into places which leaves Declan Poole free on this right hand side or you know when they come this way it's Norrington on the other side and Connors Key is so so good at switching play and that's their outlet Franklin is in with uh, with Salford oh, an opportunity for the break here it was uh, Chris Kavanagh and he just left the ball behind and uh, that's got to be frustrating for Lee Fowler when you get sort of half an opportunity like that and uh, it's your own fault that you give the ball away yeah and that's the importance we said you need that platform Akpro's laid it off really well there and, and Kavan has just got to keep that ball you know because what happens when you lose it it's coming straight back at you approaching the 20 minute mark here at uh, Castlefield it's Anthony Stevens' uh, own goal within the first five minutes. Is uh, Jack Kenny just, uh, with the I think he wins the ball here, Brent. I think it's a good strike. Yeah, I think he's got the ball. I can see why he's disappointed. Her strikers aren't the best at tackling, but he's put a good tackle in there, <laughs> can he? It's a free kick to be taken by Tibbets. And he's got the wind behind him. Ball looking for Reeves, or heavy touch, took the ball away. Good opportunity that Bryn. It was a good opportunity. But, uh, an opportunity in Adam for Flint and Riz Kavanagh. Kavanagh looking for Akbak Pro Akbak Pro. He had to take it. He had to take it first time. And uh, the ball just uh, flashes wide of the post. Yeah, the moment you get and it's just so important you might get one you might get two of them in 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 the night 
And Akpro will be disappointed there. Should have gone across keeper, I think. But I think but with it being on his left foot, just hasn't made connection. Yeah, difficult opportunity. But uh, those are the half chances, presumably, Mark, that Flint... They're not going to get a lot of opportunities, are they? So they're going to have to capitalise on chances like that. No, but that's more positive. That's two little moments, you know, in this first 20 minutes now. So they can build on that. They can take encouragement from that. And well, it stays at 1-0. There's always hope, isn't it? Davis, Poole, Franklin makes his run beyond. Anthony Stevens falls for no Edwards. Did well there. Franklin, Franklin. Can he get his shot away? Oh, he feigned for the far post and he went for the near post. And uh, he didn't fool Tibbets there. No, good play from Franklin again. Just picks up good pockets, good areas. You know, he, he's up there, lots of goals this season, lots of assists. He's always been a nuisance in some way and just didn't hit the target. A win. Out to uh, Akba Akbro. Flint's just having a period of uh, possession. Here's Jake Phillips. Phillips. And, uh, was that kept in? Yes, it was by uh, Louis Lacey. And uh, Stevens just well, caresses the ball into the far corner. Now, surely that's a corner kick. Yes, indeed, it took the last touch off uh, Kai Edwards. And uh, even from our position, Mark, we could see that that one went out for a corner. Yeah, some more good play from Flint. Again, I just said, getting that encouragement. They've had a bit of ball retention. And they're just slowly getting into this game. I think with the wind underneath the Connors key keeper, if they can get a good delivery, it could cause problems. Well, it's Jake Phillips. Right-footed Mr. Petch just uh, spotting something in the box. And there's a biscuit in the six-yard box there. And uh, as you were saying, Mark, the wind and the rain's uh, buffeting into Andy Firth's face here. I'm glad I'm sat next to you. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> <laughs> Phillips. It's a... Uh, there's a good one as well, falls on the far side, an opportunity here to get the ball back into the box. And uh, it was comfortable for Andy Firth on the James Owens return. Just looking at that, it's actually a really good chance, I think. Just sliced it, they had their six, seven yards out. But again, really difficult in them conditions to get any connection. It was a good delivery, wasn't it, from uh, Jake Phillips. He uh, read the conditions perfectly there. And uh, corner kick, his dad would have been proud of, I'm sure. Kenny. Kenny out to uh, Declan Poole. Poole with the ball to the far side, looking for Jordan Davis. Out to Harrington. And uh, he just, that's a defender's effort if ever there was one. Yeah, back to Jake there. I uh, used to watch Wayne as a young, young lad in the Wrexham Academy great player uh, and yeah Jake's done really well I played Jake at Bangor you know good ability and, and I think tonight you know that'll be crucial on set pieces that could be you know where Flint capitalise tonight at uh, 5 to 8 following us it's uh, the Dragons against uh, Oyuna in uh, the uh, European rugby that'll be live here on S4C 25 minutes played. Flint nil. Connors key one. Own goal by uh, Anthony Stevens after five minutes. And uh, it was Stevens with the infringement. Late tackle on uh, Declan Poole there. Or on Noah Edwards, rather. So an opportunity again for Connors key. Just to lift the ball into the box. Everybody bar Andy first. The Connors key keeper in the Flint half. And uh, it's Declan Poole. Poole leaves it for John Disney. Disney whips the ball in. Easily headed away by uh, Akba. Akba up to uh, Elliot Reeves. Reeves. Go, 
Williams. To Ford, Ford to his captain James Owen. Owen looking for Akpak Pro. It's uh, not having any joy at all at the moment at Flint Town United. And uh, even though it's only 1 0, Mark, you could say it is comfortable for the visitors. Yeah, Connors Key have settled in really well. Lots of possession. I think the last five minutes or so, Flint have, have got into the game, but you know they look like they're in first gear, Connors Key. Throw in goes Flint's way. Connors Key, they've not lost against Flint in nine games. And they're on the way for the tenth as things stand as uh, Davis just plays the ball out to Declan Pool Pool. Noah Edwards Edwards He's got a run into the box by John Disney. Far too much on that by Noah Edwards. And you saw the minute the ball left his foot, Noah Edwards just threw his arms up in disgust. And uh, he knew he'd put too much on that one. I think the conditions are getting worse now. Yeah, look looks really difficult out there for the players. I think sometimes you don't quite realise how difficult it can be just if you're you know, watching from home or or actually here. But when you're out there, it is really difficult. Your weight of pass, you know, once it goes in the air, it does swirl round and it's difficult to judge it. And on an all-weather pitch as well, the uh, the water is uh, just uh, collecting somewhat. See that quite clearly there as uh, Riz Kamner goes down. Lacey, Lacey, an opportunity to shoot. It was well intended there by Louis Lacey, the Tranmere low knee. And uh, just, just too much elevation. Yeah, good chance there. Some more good play from Flint. All four down the right. Good play into the striker. Laid it to Lacey. Just cutting onto his right foot, and unfortunately for the Flint flew over the bar but more promising signs for Flint I presume Mac, I mean I'm not an expert on uh, what is it 4G pitch I presume the drainage here is uh, sufficient that the water will just uh, ebb and drain away I suppose won't it? Yeah. I've never heard of a, 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 a game being called off on a, a 4G pitch because it was waterlogged no, it won't be called off, but I think what does happen is the zip on the top of the surface, it gets really zippy. It can get really difficult to to play on it, you know, to control the ball and that. It can move really fast. I think it's OK for, for the time being. Because mm. you, you play on a on a grass pitch, of course, at uh, Carnarvon. Do you know, when you, when you play on pitches like this, and, well, is it Havford West and Carnarvon, the only two sides I've got? grass pitches so you're playing most of your games on on your 4G pitches I mean do, do you get things like burns and what have you yeah yeah I mean I I love playing at home and especially in the winter you can you know you slide in tackles and I think there's going to be a book in here yeah for Just Callum Morris yeah yeah okay. so Callum you know Morris. you can make some good tackles at the oval and the crowd get right behind it uh, but certainly playing on, on the 4G, you go home with plenty of burns. <laughs> them black bits, you yeah, take them home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My partner constantly telling me to leave the bag in, in the car because the black bits are everywhere. Yeah. So, And in your ears and everywhere, up your nose. Oh, they get everywhere, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so Callum Morris... We've got Colwyn Bay as well with another grass ball switch. Oh yes, switch. of course. Yeah, I'm just yes, thinking. Of course. Uh, Apologies to Colwyn Bay fans. Unfortunately, I was just thinking because it came into my mind with them being called off today, and yeah. you get the, you get the plus point of 4G where you know this would have been off if it was a grass pitch. Um, so yeah, it's good that the 4G allows us to see football. Good play, oh, oh. lovely play, and the uh, Akpa Akro, so close there. And there's a free kick given away there. Back to Colwyn Bay. It's that. It's just that left-hand corner, isn't there, in Colwyn Bay, where there's a slope just the other side of the uh, of the fence, and the water just drains off the field. And uh, it's always that left-hand corner in Colwyn Bay. Yeah, I think we're a little bit different at the Oval with it being a slanted pitch. It just rolls into the changing room. So, 
Yeah, Colwyn Bay's uh, game against Barrytown was postponed today. That's been rearranged, by the way, for a week today. So, uh, Camus, Scorios Camus is supposed to be at uh, Park Avenue next weekend for Aberystwyth against Colwyn Bay. That's been called off. So it's uh, it'll be the last match in the uh, the cup being played a week today. Colwyn Bay against Barrytown. Barry will be looking to, to obviously come back after last week's defeat to Connors Key. Yeah. And, and Colwyn Bay, they, they've improved, haven't they? They're, they're doing bad. I've just seen Steve Evans to the right of me there. You know, he'll be looking to, to have a good December. Um, and yeah, I think they've grown into the league this season. Really, you know, last couple of months have had some good performances. Yep. There's a strong run here by uh, Elliot Reeves. He does look dangerous when he's got the ball at his feet as Elliot Reeves and. Uh, he just uh, drives forward, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, you can, Reeves, yeah, you can see, you know, he was the player to watch at the start. He's scoring goals in the coming north, and yeah, he's a live wire and you know, pace like that, that he, almost that, that he, he, he's not, fit, you know, he's, he's not scared or, or feared by the opposition. And I like watching players like that. It's almost like he wants to put his stamp on the game. And he's doing that. Ball lifted into a comfortable for uh, Andy Firth and uh, it was James Owen from the throw-in by Jake Phillips and it's uh, Morris Morris just invites Jack Kenny and uh, just cleared out by uh, Joe Williams for a throw-in throw in to uh, Connors Key still leading by a goal to nil and the floodgates haven't quite opened Mark Williams no I think since the goal the second chance I think since Tibbet's save I think Connors Key have just almost gone into, you know, training mode almost, and and, it, and it's allowed Flynn just to get that get the passing in, get a couple of you know half chances, and and they've grown into it. So, you know, I'm sure Gibbo will want Connors Key to pick it up and, and get that elusive second goal. Hefty challenge by uh, Lacey breaks for Callum Morris. Morris, he's got Edwards in front of him. He's got Harrington out on the far side. Now here's Ryan Harrington. Harrington. Back to no Edwards, Edwards, Edwards ball, just cleared away by Ford, it was a big up and under, didn't go very, very far, and uh, Kavanagh under pressure, Disney, Poole, back to, uh, it was Franklin Header, almost there by, uh, it was Callum Morris, and he just bounces out, and uh, well a cheap corner kick given away, Now it's John Disney who's just going over to the far side. And take the corner kick. Everybody again in the Flint half bar. Andy first, the Connors key keeper. Langton with the corner kick. It fall. Will it fall for No Edwards? And just uh, guided out by James Owen. Good play by James Owen. Goal kick to Flint Town United. 34, almost 35 minutes played here. And it's uh, Anthony Stevens' own goal after five minutes that separates the sides. Yeah, good play by James there. Just knew what was behind him. It's now and you know you just look at him covering round initially he's through on goal there it's just that touch that gets away from him he's actually got Lacey to the far side who, who could have been played in for a one-on-one -on -one as well but great defending from Declan Poole yeah it was that heavy touch wasn't it from uh, Akpa Akpro Lacey just lifts the ball into the box and uh, the wind just carried that one straight through to Andy Firth. And uh, it's howling the wind here. 
Just see it there, can't oh, you, Brent? Dear me. I think he did really well to catch that. He did. <laughs> he did. He nearly went back with it. We'll keep the ball on the ground will be the message, I suppose. Harrington just moves us forward. Just opens up for no Edwards. Edwards it again. It's that space out on the right hand side for Declan Poolpool. Just uh, fences inside of uh, Louis Lacey. Oh, heavy challenge on Jordan Davis, but falls for Declan Poole. Morris Poole just chipped over his uh, his own feet there. Harrington. Harrington in for Tibbetts. Tibbetts under pressure from Jack Kenny. And he did well there, did Tibbetts. He had uh, very, very little uh, option, really, than to punch the ball away. Oh, good decision again from Tibbetts there. Yeah, Ooh, he was offside, offside, clearly offside there. You can just see Flint are grown into the game. They're, you know, they're going forward. Just see that chance again. And Tibbets. Good, strong play, especially with Jack Kenny coming <laughs> towards you. If it's not Kenny, it's wild. That was brave. That was, <laughs> was. really brave from Josh Tibbets. Keeps it at 1-0. Nash Pool Kenny forward for uh, No Edwards and uh, James Owen just tidies the ball back to Josh Tibbetts back to Akpro under pressure just gives the ball away and it's uh, Morris to uh, I think it's No Edwards out. Yep, on the left hand side, No Edwards does well, gets his cross. Well, good run from Noah again. Just didn't quite get the cross. Franklin Harrington just enough on that one for uh, Declan Poole he did well he had the uh, first cabinet just uh, bearing down on him Harrington Morris makes his run to the edge of the area Harrington hops for no Edwards Kai Edwards. That was a loose ball. Comfortable for Jake Phillips. And just a long hopeful punt that should run through to Andy Firth. Approaching the final five minutes of the first half. Yeah, I think Lee Fowler will be happy to get in half time at 1 0. Obviously, the save from Tibbetts keeps them in the game. They've grown into it. There's certainly enough time for them to to get back into this contest too much on that one from uh, Declan Poole and uh, too much on it even for Callum Morris who is out on the on the left hand side You can see on the camera shot there, Mac. The, uh, just the ferocity of the conditions here this evening. Yeah, really difficult for the players. As I said, these evenings, you know, you do your work in the week, you turn up on a Saturday, and it can be really difficult. In case the players are running around, you've got to feel for the uh, the assistant referees, and the referees running around, but the uh, the assistants and. Uh, on the near side and on the far side, it's uh, Kerry Williams and uh, on the far side and Connor Fowler on the near side. You've got to feel for them. They must be absolutely soaked to the skin. 
Nash. Nash, good play by Elliot Reeves. Reeves and then gives the ball away far, far too cheaply. Franklin just puts his foot on the accelerator. Does he? Once he gets the ball, Mark, he just immediately, he's that burst of speed. Yeah, he's got that injection, hasn't he? He gets away from players. He's got good touch, good feet. And as I said earlier, he's been a, you know, he's almost been a gem that's come into the Welsh Prem because, you know, he's come out of the English leagues and... And I think his former Abba, you know, Connors Key came knocking. He probably didn't like the travel to Abba and then windy <laughs> roads. <laughs> Here he is, Harry Franklin, formerly of Aberystwyth. Up to Jack Kenny. Kenny and the pressure straight away there from Danny Harrison. And uh, keeps the ball in play, much to the protestations of the the Flint players. And then gives it away. And uh, Akbar, bro. Now then, he's only got Elliot Reeves with him. And there's Joe Williams. Jay Owen. And Anthony Stevens. Lovely touch from uh, Williams. Kevin is just a little bit too ambitious there with the with the touch, and it's uh, Callum Morris. Just have plenty of time just to consider his options. Franklin under pressure from Kavanagh Stevens stronger than Noah Edwards Kavanagh ball forward to uh, James Owen Owen looking to raise our lovely pass. ball to Akpa Akpro Akpa Akpro just held up there by Ben Nash now then he's got Lacey on a run into the box and uh, does he win the corner kick he does corner kick two minutes of the first half remaining corner kick to the home side Good through ball by, by James Owner. Akbro, he's lively on the last shoulder. I think it's just that last little bit of play now. And it's Jake Phillips again. For Lee Fowler's side. He uh, put a good corner kick in a few minutes ago. Oh, a goal just before half time. It would be just the tickets for Flint. Signal from Phillips near post as uh, Morris just uh, heads the ball away in the pressure effort comes in oh just past the post oh, what a shot and it was uh, James was it Danny Harrison it was Danny Harrison wasn't it just looking here now on the edge of the box I think it's no, Reece Kavanagh yeah, yeah. Reece Kavanagh, Kavanagh. oh Ooh. Oh, I think without the block from, from Edwards, it, it, it would have been on target. Kavanagh, another opportunity. They're claiming a handball there. There's no VAR, unfortunately, at this level. Yet. <laughs> I'd like to see that one again. Jake Phillips. Just all expecting Flint to see how much uh, time will be added on now then. There's going to be a long one into the box here from Jake Phillips. He's got to factor in the, the wind and the rain, of course. And uh, is that another corner kick? No, it's uh, a goal kick this time. Here's the, the handball incident again, Mark. Oh. Ooh. Seeing them given. Exactly. You have seen those given. Jordan Davis, he's a very, very lucky boy. Always find them difficult, though, I think, when you are running out as a player. And I'm sure Jordan Davis, as it hits him, you're just hoping. You're hoping he doesn't give yeah. it. Yeah. You, you know it's not intentional, don't you? Yeah. You know. But yet they're given. McConnor's key. Got away with one there. 
as we're into two minutes of uh, added time at the end of the first half as the wind <laughs> just carries the ball away all the players congregate on the near side I think Lee Fowler will be pleased with the last five, ten minutes or so you know, two or three corners, a few shots they're just getting themselves into this game and, and they'll be hoping for more of the same as they come out in the second half Lacey Akbar, Akbar just the bundled over by Edda's play continues. Harrison gifted the ball away there, but uh, you know, Kenny was uh, offside. But did Kenny touch the ball there? Hmm. So into the last 20 seconds to Mr Petch to uh, put them all out of their misery get them into that warm changing room maybe change of kit <laughs> and it's Tibbetts and he's got the wind behind him and Kelland Absalom scored for Ballatown, the Ballatown keeper this afternoon Tibbetts not quite the same there and the uh, referee just checking his watch, Mr Petch just allows play to continue as, uh, an effort comes in from far, that's the, the final action of the first half. And it's uh, Anthony Stevens' his own goal after five minutes that uh, separate the sides. It was a cross coming in from Ryan Harrington, and it was uh, bundled in by uh, Anthony Stevens. So, half time here at Castlefield. It's Flint Town United nil. Connors Key 1.
Sean <laughs> 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 A goal, okay, Bach and Nook is he, he call it, or, um, or Stevens, he call it, the Cafferdia Duetha, on Manuedi Board and Juare, Pale Droid. Mauna Mode and her goal o, o, o Anos. If I'm around the way, can you do all the goal just around? And they pass, they just, a sturdy end they pass. Yeah, it's okay. Matt Massavon or Pale Droid will be off west and a bit of a disco like us in the middle to my, my more wind dog, my, my whirlio to my Nano Droid. A, a poor young or a or a or a, or a cloistered ne or, or a pass, especially to a Marai Camel, a void team on the south on a pale road. Gold Gunner, to my he, can you well do? Uh, and for this, we're on a flint. Yeah, on it, on only what are a pale road pet, he's a he's an in Cape Conner and, and Fedir uh, Bailo in Asketh, your fat, where in uh, a cloistered and in that, St. Cray, a say your cloistered when in, or where in Stevens, good at Cafferdia Dweather. Thank you for lot on it, or the in Hoyer, of Ethi O'Hare with Honey, so do him good lot of Danny, of Ethi Bride and Anfordis or Hannah Flinton, Kaycon and A. Bimon and Ada, him a Bimon and Scoria Golia, him and Carla Cavalier. A family all will, he'd not get a hood, son, no? He'd go over his every ball. My end, my serious. Yeah, can you have more of the good idea, Hannah Kentana? I felt you saw Cavalier the doors, E. Kaycon, I'm not going to end up in Team Creep for more of that. Yeah, it's not the Rishara Dachel, Haglen of Fife Bunnovas and Barre, Brand, Guahano, or Bill Drode, and Neil Gibson, the Fife Bunnovan Vodlon, Vasteroy Huir, Sight, Dig, Passa, Tigilid, Sammy, the team, or Enos, get your sack. So, Mother and Bill Drode, Perta, and Todd Yibrech, and not just my great wealth. On the Bass TV, so the Bill Letraus, no Edward Edwards, where in the further they've been there. I said, Jordan Davis, where he's got it on, but then he goal at Benny Gobba. Yeah, I'll be a bow, but he's going to go to the other a flint, and I'm going to go to the other a form of end, or it's a more of a delay button, though. Yeah, we're going to go to the other disco, or a form of where he's going to go, a golem of where he's going to go, but he's going to go to the other. So my friends are all mown, Ihon, Vesci, if they're not going to the Stavic now, is that? Well, if they're not going to happen, it's going to be on goal with him, so I'm going to go to the other game. Mae'r ymwodau, dyn ni'n siarad bod i'r ymwodau, mae'r rhaid dyn ni, mae'r ymwodau mor anodd, to os yn nhw'n cael un i ddoi gyfle, dyna peth bwysig cymeriad y cyfle yn pan maen nhw'n dod. Mae'n nhw'n cael cwpl o gyfle i oedd, so na fel ti'n gweud, un gol ynddi, mae'n nhw'n becyn fod allan o'n i. O, oh, gwrthod, um, ac bro, fi'n credu ar un achlysur oedd y trwyddio, ond un cyffyrddiad braidd yn drwm. Um, so, da dyna'r gwaniaeth fach ar y lefel, ma, so, y cyffyrddiad wetha i, I set y lan yr ergyd, felly, uh, ond maen nhw'n y gym, yn sicr maen nhw'n y gym. Er, um, er y meddion, mae Cei Conna wedi cael. Dwi'n dweud y gwynt yn fantes sydd yn nhw'n yr ail hanner, dwi'n maen siŵr y ffordd fe'ch wedi. Wel, na, yr unig beth sy'n gweud bod yn fantes yw'r ffaith bod y bêl yn sefyll lan i'r er ymysodwyr, so, pyn ti'n fath yn chwarae y bêl hir, Dwi'n honno ddim yn rhedd ag i ffwrdd oddi ar ti. Honno ddim yn gyfle i fi um, i uh, leis i... So, so I'm just really proud of you, Ben. I'm just really, I'm coming to the answer because of the way you married the other kid. I hope that so, so on the hard target, you go out on the hard target when you cover the hard, just when he was costing. But on teams, you're going to be cocky and you can't get out of your mind. You're not helping so much for the lead, not on flint. Oddi, of course, for that. So, for them, for them, they're there. So. Y ffaith bod nhw ond un gol i ffwrdd, uh, fydd yna nhw'n y dderis, ond um, y ffordd mae Cei Conna hefyd, y ffordd mae nhw'n gweithio trwy yma, y ffordd mae nhw'n dal meddiant o bêl, um, sy'n ni'n synnu fath o'i gweld gwybod bach gynnar arall o gynnwys. Ie, yeah, mae nhw'n dyn prif dros ben ar hyn o bryd Cei Conna. Am Cwpa Cymru, sydd gyda ni fy'n hyn heno, a lot mwy o bêl droed i ddod. Tofiwch eichaf pwyntiau'r penodros i ddod. Mae slun fel i'r reini, an yr awr dyn naw, gyrchu ail gyfle. Nos bal, ac ar y rai player, eto'r y clic hefyd, ond yeah, ni'n ni. 
gyfnewid cyflwynwyr nesa, achos ni wedi llesgo Sean Ed David allan i'r gwynter glaw hefyd. Traffi am serenade yng ngwallt i'r bore yma. Mark Williams, pleasure to have you as part of Scoria's team tonight. Apart from the conditions, what were your thoughts on that first half? Start for Connors Key. Uh, I think obviously Steve will be disappointed with the own goal, uh, but I don't think they've uh, kicked on from there. Uh, so I think Lee will be quite happy in the last 10 minutes of that half, and they'll, they'll want to come out second half and, and, and try and implement in this game. There's been so much talk, obviously, about the weather, about the conditions. As a player, just how hard is it to play in conditions like these, or do you just manage to sort of block it out? It, it's really difficult, and I think at home on the telly, you think. You know, it's not as bad as it is. I could believe you, me, you know, sitting here or getting blown away. It's really difficult and it, it almost just changes the way you play. You've just got to go back to basics, play the conditions, as they say, uh, and just try, try your best. It's almost like a, a, a written off game and you just got to work hard. Uh, and, and yeah, as I say, just just do what you can. Just quickly, I have to ask about Canard von Town. It's been quite the season so far. You're sitting comfortably in that top six. You joined in the summer. Just how much are you enjoying your time at the Oval? Yeah, don't speak too soon. You know, fingers crossed we can make that top six. We've got, got you know, big games over Christmas now. Colwyn Bay uh, live on Scorio, which I'm looking forward to. But on a personal note, I love it. Uh, you know, really enjoying the season. Uh, the lads are doing well, and as I say, hopefully we can we can finish the the, the first phase strongly, uh, and yeah, the top six pending maybe. So Mark, really appreciate your time. I let you go and keep warm and stay <laughs> dry. Let's take corner. See that a bland van hen and a flint speed off men and bears that I'll have ready though. It's at all the go.
Cwys yn ola ni Air Flint, y clybiau'n ceisio cyrraedd. Oeth ola, cwpan Cymru. Eich o bwyntiau i ddod nos lun ar benodd mlas. Mae'n cyddid ac ar wedi ennill. Casnewydd i colli, gym rexam wedi gohirio oherwydd y tywydd. Mae'n o thema. Dwi i'n credu bod i'n stopio glawio. Ond dwi'n siŵr. Nona ni ethnig bori. Thank you, uh, Dylan. And uh, the wind and rain still... Uh, Coming down in buckets as uh, Flint Town United will be playing into the wind and rain in the the second half. No changes in either side at uh, half time, and it's the well the home side who uh, started off at the beginning of the second half, and it was James Owen's uh, ball forward, and it was Owen again who picked up his own ball there, passed the ball to himself there, Mark. That was like watching rugby. That kick it up, chase it. <laughs> No changes at the break, no surprise? No, no, as I said, I think Lee Fowler will be happy half-time. You know, they've got themselves in the game last ten minutes. It's just that last little bit of play now, you know. I think uh, Act Pro's had a few moments where, you know, that in that in that box, if you can just be a bit more clinical. Uh, but I think they'll get chances second half, I really do. Good run again by uh, Declan Poole. Far too much on that one. And it's that old cliche, I suppose, isn't it, Mark? The next goal is also important. Yeah, it really is. You know, and I think since the goal, and so, well, more, more so since that save, I mean, it could have been two. I think Flint have, have got into the game and, and Connors Key have just taken their foot off the gas. I wish they played like this against <laughs> us. <laughs> I think it's the conditions, to be honest. I, I've just been out there then. I, I, I actually can't believe how how difficult it is to, to even walk in it. So fair play to both teams because because I think that they've actually passed the ball really well when and it's not great well it was uh, notable there in the goal kick that uh, Andy Firth just tried to play the the short one across the box and just put his side under pressure clearly Lee Fowler has uh, given him the instructions just to try to play the ball on the floor as uh, as much as they can What will uh, Neil Gibson have said at half time to his players, Mark? I think it'll be just a case of, you know, it, it, he always demands Gibbo and he's got standards and, and it is difficult and he'll know that and, it, you know, they're one they'll let. But it's just, uh, it'll be keep moving that ball, you know, play with that intensity the best you can in these conditions and get that second goal. Uh, yeah, they have come out the second half here, they're moving it quick, they look, they look sharp and just there you're just seeing what the wind can do and, and now the slick service it can be really difficult to play any type of football well, at the oval that would have held up about halfway across from us probably you could have got it <laughs> i could have yeah i'd, <laughs> I'd have probably put the nos on and got there <laughs> uh, back bro nash just interesting the first thing but when we spoke in the first half about which way to go and you know what captains pick we just second half with the win Connors Key two passes already one's run out uh, of play and the other one's gone out of play on the far side we're just seeing it there run through again that's three and that's why it can be difficult it's actually sometimes with the wind easier to to play uh, against the wind easier to play as you'll watch Flint now Connors Key are just finding it difficult with that amount of wind behind them. Phillips. Is that Lacey with the well, hopeful punt forward? No Edwards. And uh, here's the other brother, Kai Edwards. The eldest of uh, the brothers, the Edwards brothers, Kai Edwards. Morris. Acres of space on the left hand side, on the far side by. Uh, Ryan Harrington, Harrington just puts his foot on the pedal. And uh, again, just the, the conditions there, Mark, as you said more than once, just uh, spoiling things. Yeah, as I say, it's difficult, you know, and credit to both sets. I think they're trying to play in the right way. Tibbets barely reached uh, Louis Lacey there. And it's uh, Disney. And that just shows Andy Fitt in the first half, the Koniski goalkeeper, how far he, he was actually kicking over the halfway line, which in this wind would have been really difficult. Edwards 
just under pressure from uh, Elliot Reeves. And he's grown in confidence, hasn't he, Reeves, as the game has gone along. And the uh, Ford, J. Owen, again, just a, a punt upfield for Elliot Reeves, just being uh, policed there by uh, Kai Edwards. Oh, lovely play by Reeves. Reeves goes for goal! Almost curled it in on the far post. That was heading for the far corner. He just took a turn at the end. It did. Great play by Reeves again. As you said, he's grown into the game and I think he's he's getting more confident. I said in the first half, he's almost got that, you know, fear, he hasn't got the fear factor of playing Connors Key. And it's really good play. It's a great strike and he's not a million miles away. And, and, and they'll get confidence from that. Morris. Pool. That's that burst of inj injection of uh, pace once again by uh, Declan Pool. Now, Harry Franklin. Franklin. He's got uh, no Edwards with him and uh, just takes a touch. And just <laughs> and the spin and the wind there just played havoc. Now, Harrington. Harrington just facing up to, uh, to uh, the number three, Joe Williams. As you said, Mark, earlier on, sometimes it's more difficult playing with the wind behind you, isn't it? Yeah, because you, you play that through ball or you switch play and, and you, you don't realise the weight of it and it can just take out of play. And as I said in the first half, I remember playing at the Oval and as captain, we you know, we, we were much better um, against it. We kept the ball better. You can get it into your front man. You can bounce off it. And, it, you know, it was easier to play. And that actually on that day, Carnarvon struggled. He's still on goal if he can find him. Great oh, tackle. Oh. And, uh, Mr. Fratz, and it's uh, a yellow card. Now, that must be a yellow card for Jordan Davis. Because he showed it in the direction of Callum Morris. But I think it's Jordan Davis, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The incredulity suggests it's him. It's Jordan Davis for the tackle. I was just saying it's a great tackle. <laughs> That's how much I know. We'll just watch it now. I think it's a great tackle person. I think yeah. he's won the ball. He's worked hard for his team. He's run 30 yards. He's won it back. And yeah, it's not a booking for me. Nope. Nope, not a booking there. But uh, Jordan Davis showed the yellow card. And it's James Owen. Owen, he's got the run from uh, Jake Phillips. Owen just lifts the ball into the box, headed away. It was Davis who was there, lifted back in. And at uh, first just watch the ball just bounce in front of him and that uh, makes it look so comfortable and uh, out to Harrington Harrington ball down the line inviting Jack Kenny Williams to uh, James Owen back to Joe Williams Phillips well he was sold short there by uh, Joe Williams but he did well and it's a uh, James Owen to uh, Anthony Stevens own goal within the first five minutes separates the sides Owen did well under pressure from Harry Franklin Flint holding their own yeah I think they're really grown into the match and, and as this match goes on I, you know, I think they're getting more confident they're keeping the ball and Connors Key have just got to be careful you know, it's almost as I said I, I think Gibbo at half time would have just wanted them to lift it a little bit They've got Mike Wilde warming up on the far side, so uh, it's not a bad sub to have. No, <laughs> no, not at all. And I wonder how changes afoot. Wild for Kenny, maybe, uh, Mark? Potentially, yeah, if he's looking to get Wild on. Obviously, similar personnel in terms of being that, that vocal point, or he might just think, with with the conditions, do you put two nines up there? You know, get the ball up there. It's, it's difficult to play and almost work off them both, um, you know, with the talented midfielders they've got, you know, running in behind, you know, is and, and Morris is. So it will be interesting what, what Gibbo does. No Edwards under pressure. And it's at Lacey I to uh, Kavanagh. You're just seeing that confidence, aren't you, with Flint now that, you know, they're getting the ball, players want the ball. 
you know, just here now, they've got that confidence. You didn't see this in the first half. Oh, a lovely ball from Kevin. Uh, it, uh, it was uh, well read by Ryan Harrington. He's under pressure from Joe Williams. Williams does well. It was a lovely pass from Chris Kevin, Mac. Yeah, good confidence, good pass. As I say, he's checked his shoulders, rolled the corner's key player. I feel like it took them 20, 25 minutes to, to realise, actually, you know, we, we, we can put our stamp on this game. We're good players and, and the confidence that they're showing they're coming north, they're now bringing it to this match tonight. The voice of Mark Williams, can I run down? Midfielder. With his on Scotty up. Anthony Stevens' his own goal within the first five minutes, separating the sides. But James Owen just dwells on the ball too much. Harry Franklin. Franklin, how oh, he's just sent Kenny out wide and uh, he'd strayed offside. And Callum Morris just asks the question of uh, Harry Franklin. Opportunity gone there, Mark. Yeah, James Owen just dis dispossessed in the middle of the park. Although he started the second half really well, James just one touch too many there. Harry Franklin, he's always around you, he's always sharp, and, and, and Kenny just went a little bit too soon. But you can see how dangerous they can be on the attack. And I suppose the neutral wouldn't want Connors Key to score that second, would they? No, you, you, you want a cut tie, don't you? I mean, Flint, Flint in the league below as well. And, you know, I always think when you when you look at the Welsh Cup, it's, it's nice to get a Cymru North team going on a run and, and showing they can compete. And, you know, we've shown that Welsh football, you know, it's improving all the time. You want Cymru North teams to, to play Connors Key in and think, yeah, we're good enough. We, we, we can compete at this level. You know, it just, it, it just brings the standard up uh, in Wales altogether, I think. Buckley Town from the, the Cymru North there through to the quarterfinals. They won 2 1 at Porth Madog this afternoon. The fee, feeder team of Glandidno, yeah. that isn't it, Brun? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Cymru North is really, really interesting this season uh, for the listeners, Mark. I mean, I think the top five in the Cymru North, four are from Flintshire. Airbus, Flint, Mould and Hollywell and the other one's Denby Town which is basically just down the road and uh, it's a North East Wales monopoly almost Yeah, you know, Cymru North's always competitive I think, you know, I I dropped down for personal reasons and, and I really enjoyed my time, my two seasons you know, at Clondidno uh, not, not, not a lot of travelling which was nice but yeah, you get lots of derbies, you get good crowds and, and again, it, it shows you know, I think the Cymru North's improved uh, and, it, you know, we're seeing that tonight. I mean, that they're holding their own against Connors Key. I was 5-0 down <laughs> this time when I played <laughs> for Carnarvon. So, you know, there's some really good teams and good players within the north. And, and yeah, it'll be exciting, I think, watching that because it's really close. Airbus yeah, leading at the moment with, uh, I think it's Mould Alex who is in second position. And uh, Flint's third, then be fourth. And then uh, Hollywell Town. Mr. Petch just uh, explaining to Harry Franklin that he had, he had no option there. As he played 12 minutes of the second half, as it were, at uh, half time. Kenny Franklin. Ball given away by uh, Jordan Davis to a uh, cabinet. Kevin in his, uh, was it Penabonte was, wasn't he? Penabonte, he was almost a target man. He's, he's playing much deeper this evening, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's playing, you know, obviously off Reeves. I think Elliot Reeves, you know, as we said, he seems to be the live wire. He's been scoring goals, but Kevin is a lot deeper. Just going to see a chance here. Oh, oh Kenny! Uh, and it's spilled by the keeper. And it's Jack Kenny who returns to uh, haunt his former club. And with 58 minutes on the clock, rather fortuitously, must be said, Tibbet slipped. And it was uh, Jack Kenny with the second. It's at Flint Nil, Connors Key 2. Yeah, some more good play down the side. Another good cross. We'll have to see it again now. Just seeing it, it's down this right hand side. Harry, you know, Harry Franklin, Declan just lets it run over. 
This is what they do. They create triangles. Declan again with a cross. And yeah, extremely lucky. Just looking at Tibbets. I think it's taken a deflection off the Flint defender, which made it a little bit difficult for him. Yeah, just looking to see. Just there. Oh, it's uh, Sol Ford. Who got the last touch? Oh, do you know what? It could be another own goal, couldn't it? It was the last touch off Kenny. was the last touch off Sol Ford. Really difficult. Yeah, very difficult to judge that one. This may be a, a, a better angle. Ball comes in. No, it could be an own goal. Yeah, that's an own goal by Salford. Two own goals. Ball on forward and uh, just caught offside. And, uh, just a late challenge there on uh, Jake Phillips. And I think when you do have these cut ties and, and you're stepping up and, you know, Connors Key is second in the Welsh Prem. You know, the last few years they've been a really, you know, decent side. Uh, the last thing you want is, is something like that, you know, a bit unfortunate, two own goals. You almost need everything to go right for you. And Lee Fowler would just, you know, a little bit good with that. Just a, a break in play here. As uh, John Disney just has to leave the field by uh, Mr. Patch. It's a free kick for the, uh, the first foul on Jake Phillips. And James Owen has a change for Flint. Just uh, preparing to bring Joshua Jones on. So Joshua Jones replaces uh, Joe Williams. Two goals against MB Town in uh, round two for Josh Jones. And Flint needs something here. Past the mark of the uh, the hour. And there's uh, Akva Akro just uh, lays it back for. Ford looking to atone for his error when he was uh, aware of Disney behind him and uh, just too much on that one. He was rushed there, was James Owen. Yeah, I just heard the crowd as well, didn't you? And then he realised. I just think he, uh, as you say, a little bit rushed and just put too much on that. So two own goals has done for Lee Fowler's side. Anthony Stevens after five minutes and uh, Sol Ford on 58. And... Uh, not much that Josh Tibbetts in goal for Flint could have done. Harrington, Franklin. Good challenge by uh, James Owen. James Owen looks frustrated. Yeah, it's difficult. I mean, when, like you say, we spoke about the conditions, but also, you know, big cut tie. As you, you need everything to go right for you, and it's that. You're 2-0 down, two own goals. You know, he's just crossed the ball, he's gone out of play, and... You know, there's nothing worse when you're out there and, and chasing the game. But there's plenty of time. Plenty of time. Almost half an hour remaining. Edwards. Harrington. To uh, Callum Morris. Back to uh, Andy Firth. Firth has had a relatively comfortable evening, hasn't he, really, Mark? I mean, in the first half, when the wind is in his face, he... Didn't really have any key saves to make, and uh, he can almost have a deck chair at the back there in the second half. Yeah, we haven't. He hasn't, like you said, he hasn't been made to work yet. The one the first half that took the block went wide. He had a few good handling moments, but yeah, he's been a spectator. Good play again, Kavanagh by Reeves. Yeah, Reeves to Kavanagh, and Kavanagh just trying to curl the ball into Akbar Pro's path, and uh, again just put too much on that one. And, uh, something for Andy Firth to do. I think it'll be a, the learning curve for Flint and certainly Lee Fowler. These moments when you do play, you know, better opposition like a Connors Key, that last pass and then moments that you do get. We're just watching Harry Frank. Oh, Franklin. Then moments you do get, you know, it's so important that, you know, you might get two chances in the game or one chance to play that through ball and. You know, Akpo had a few in the first half. Get it right. Really, really come out of that challenge with uh, John Disney. 
it was the the momentum more than anything almost 20 minutes played in the second half here at the castle field visitors ahead by two goals to nil two own goals uh, yeah Anthony Stevens and uh, Salford Franklin oh, lovely ball to know Edwards 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 on that left foot and we saw that so often last season for Carnarvon where he just uh, worked his way across the penalty area now then is that offside no good play by Reeves Reeves can he cut inside can he get a shot away Reeves with the effort oh dear me after the uh, really really good build up play woeful effort yeah, we spoke about their moments and just said it, you know, two minutes ago. They're the key moments. Good play by Akpro. He got that ball right, through ball, it was onside. You could see that right in front of us here. And when you get into moments like that, the least he's got to do is hit the target and it gives him a chance then. If he does hit the target, he might parry it out for his strike partner. Yeah. And it bounced up really nicely for him as well, didn't it? You know, for to hit the target, but uh, please, is it over the bat? Can't minutes. blame the bobbly pitch there no, as the strikers, can we? <laughs> this 4G's catching us a few yeah. out, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Harrison and the pressure back to uh, Tibbetts. Phillips. Ford ball just held up again there by the uh, the elements. Josh Jones. Lovely build up play by uh, Konarski and then uh, Akpa Akpro. Mr. gives the ball away. Firth. Disney. Draw for the uh, the quarterfinals on Wednesday, by the way. And as things stand, Connor's key heading in. And the uh, the floodlights on the far side there, Mark. I think it, it, it's still on. It just uh, appeared just to go out a bit there. I remember being here a few years back. Yeah, and the whole I was thing. there. I was there. I, I was here, I should yeah. say. <laughs> I was here, yes. Yes. And at the Oval as well, was it? Last season in Carnarvon? Well, this previous season it happened in Carnarvon as well. They might do that New Year's Eve so we can get home <laughs> to celebrate. <laughs> Colwyn Bay, is it Colwyn Bay? Yeah. yeah. Another good pass there. Yeah, that would be a good game. Lovely ball in oh. by Akpo. Akpo. Again, good moments. A good run from Akpo. Straight into the arms of Andy Firth. So that'll be a good one on, uh, you say, New Year's Day. New Year's Eve. New Year's one, Eve. Yeah. Right. Who, who have you got Boxing Day? Yeah. <laughs> <It's> TNS. <laughs> <laughs> right. Away? Away, yeah. Uh, that's not much of a Christmas present. No, it's not. Um, best be careful how much uh, turkey you <laughs> yes. have. In. Yeah. Not too many pigs and blankets <laughs> chasing their midfield. <laughs> <laughs> no Edwards and if fish is listening obviously just water at the table <laughs> Franklin Franklin oh. into Callum Morris Morris lovely interchange by uh, Connors Key Pool back to Franklin Franklin took a smart save from Josh Tibbetts that was going in on his near post Good effort by Javi Franklin. Yeah, really good. You've just seen that movement, that pass, and they're really good at that interchange, as you just said. Really difficult to defend against. Uh, I said Gibbo at half-time probably would have would have asked for that, and we're starting to see it now. Another opportunity for uh, Harry Franklin. And, uh, we understand that uh, Jack Kenny is uh, about to depart, and uh, not a bad substitute to bring on, Mark Williams. No, really good. Uh, played with Mike, played against him many years as well. Uh, always a handful, always scores goals. And yeah, it's been a good evening for Jack Kenny. Just going to see the goal. It might go to the dubious goal panel, we're not sure. I think it's down as Jack's for now. Yeah. I'm one of them, just give it Jack, you yes. don't need to give it the yeah. defender. Y he'll claim it, won't he, you know. Jack Kenny, former Flint player, departs, and another former Flint player, five-time Welsh Cup winner, Mike Wilde, four times with TNS, once with Connors Key. 
and uh, he's on doesn't weaken the side at all does it not at all no and you know I think I think that just shows yeah you know obviously his age but yeah, the fact Jack Kenny you know is in the side I think that shows what what Kenny brings to you because you know Mike Wilde can, can clearly do it still in this level uh, and I think Kenny of the team he's he's playing week in week out change for Flint as well James Owen departs the captain and uh, Ben Hughes comes on and also departing is uh, Elliot Reeves to be replaced by uh, Morgan Roberts. So Reeves off and uh, Roberts on, Owen off and Ben Hughes on. And we've passed the halfway point of the, the second half into the last 20 minutes. I think Lee Fowler's just trying to fresh legs, something different. Although I think Reeves today, you know, overall he's shown, you know, he can be a handful, you know, and it, it'll be interesting to see at the end of the season, you know, if he continues his good form in the north, you know, whether a Welsh Prem team might come sniffing. You know, he's scoring goals, he was lively tonight. I'm surprised he's gone off, to be honest. Yeah, you're chasing the game, you need a goal. Um, I was just looking at them subs, I thought the exact same. I, you know, if anyone maybe was going to get one, it would be Reeves. Well, they've pushed uh, Josh Jones up front with uh, Akbar Akpro. Well, it's uh, Josh Jones and the uh, good play here. And it's uh, Josh Jones, Akbar Akpro. He's got Kavanagh in the middle, ball into the middle, looking for Kavanagh. He just got his angles wrong. He just, uh, his spatial awareness just wasn't up to it there. Here's Kavanagh. And uh, he was a bit far left of the goal, wasn't he? Yeah, more good play. Seems to have gone out almost to that left-hand side. Uh, Akpro in the second half. Didn't quite know where he was. He's trying to get a corner there. <laughs> but again, more good play from Flint. Next Friday night at 5-8 uh, to eight on uh, S4C. It's uh, again in the uh, European uh, Rugby competition. The Scarlets against the Black Lions. There's uh, Ben Nash. Just shoves the ball back to... Uh, Andy Firth, Disney. There's Declan Poole. No Edwards. No Edwards always seems to be in pockets of space, doesn't he, Mark? He just, yeah. he just, he just he's drawn to that space all the time. I think when watching the midfield, when you see the four of them, you know, interchange, they move, they all seem to find that space. They've all got that, that extra yard as well, and that's why it can be so difficult to play against them. You know, just looking at Noah, he, he was in the the sitting midfield position as a six, and now he's picking it up on the left wing, and and he that great ball there. Harrington got the ball to uh, Harrison, and it's uh, Franklin. Franklin falls to Noah does Davis just leaves it for Callum Morris. Snapshot cleared away up to Kavanagh. But, uh, the toe poke from John Disney, and the Declan Poole can keep the ball in play. Poole, Edwards. Oh, the intention was a good one. As a cabinet did, uh, did well, Jordan Davis, Davis, Davis with the effort. This is the way off uh, Anthony Stevens, who's taken the captain's armband. Edwards, Firth, self composed Andy Firth, isn't he? Yeah, really helps, doesn't it? You know, when you know you can use your goalkeeper. Pass it back, goes out the other side, and I think because of the way Gibber wants Connor's key to play, he's uh, he's really pivotal to that. It's almost like having that sweeper, isn't it? Yeah, he's uh, Manuel Neuer esque, isn't he? You know, just exudes confidence. I think it's the modern day goalkeeper now, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Very much so. You've got to be uh, as good a footballer as the outfield players these days. Oh, Edwards just uh, chopped down on the far side there. And uh, that will be uh, a yellow card. It's the same at TNS with, with Harrison. You know, he, he almost started it for, uh, in Welsh football. Uh, the lads used to say apparently used to play, you know, out in the five side and was just as good <laughs> as the players. So he probably could have scored a few if he played up front for TNS. There is Kavanagh, sees the, the yellow card. So that crew challenge on uh, Noah Edwards. 
approaching the final 15 minutes as uh, John Disney spots the ball once again he's got five six red shirts to aim towards in the, in the box Disney whips one in towards Mike Wilder how on earth did he miss that that could be the easiest chance he'll have this season yeah I'd be disappointed there Remy. I think we picked him up too much well 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 and almost four yards out we're just going to see it now good ball from Disney no one's marking him trademark Mike Wilde well, I mean, I'm amazed that he hasn't even hit the target he was <laughs> He had the freedom of the field there. Well, well. Stays 2 0. There's uh, Ben Nash just commandeers at the back there. Phillips to Stevens. And in the direction of uh, Akpro. Ak Stevens. His goal. Set Connor's key on their way in the first five minutes. And then, uh, well, Jack Kenny, or an own goal by Salford. As Mark said, it's the <laughs> devious goals panel. <laughs> Decide that one. <laughs> We're almost at that stage now. I think Flint, after. You know, stick or twist almost. Yeah. Almost like they just, you know, don't concede again. We'll, we'll take 2 0, but maybe just, you know, offer a few more plays going forward. They've still got their back five. You, you, you've almost took the words out of my mouth there, Mike. I was just going to say it's as if uh, Flint have accepted their fate somehow or other. Yeah, and almost just what, you know, a 2 0 uh, isn't the worst, worst score line, certainly. You know, it hasn't been the worst performance. They've shown some really good glimpses of, of what they're doing at Flint. And I, I, I listened to Lee Fowler, you know, pre-match, and, and he spoke about last year not being able to play the style he wanted due to financial reasons. And, and now this year he feels like he can. And, and tonight I think we've seen bits of that. You know, Lee Fowler uh, played with him at Wrexham and, you know, very talented football and <laughs> he doesn't like the ball in the air. You know, it's all about playing round corners and they've shown that tonight. Phillips looking for Akpak Pro. Here's Kavanagh who is there. Falls for Lacey. Lacey and then uh, Ben Hughes with a challenge. Falls for Anthony Stevens. Now the Stevens falls for Akpak Pro. Was that the chance? Was that the chance for Flint to work their way back into the game? Could have been a big moment there. 77th minute. It just, his chest eluded him a little bit, just got away from him. And that's the little bit for me, I think, Flynn, t tonight, you know, they've just missed that final little bit of quality. You know, a chest finish there and they're back in the game. And it's them fine margins, certainly when you play someone like Connor Ski. Phillips. Stevens. Danny Harrison. Now to uh, Sol Ford. Ford. Just too much on that one to go beyond Morgan Roberts. And the goal now for Flint, Mac, would make things really, really interesting. Yeah, it would. And, and when you look back, and I'm sure Lee Fowler will, he'll, he'll look at that chance. You know, as I said, them key moments, you've got to take them. And, and if that went in, I think the game just changes and, and they've got a good 10 minutes then to push for the, for the second. Neil Gibson without his hood suggests that the rain has stopped wind still blowing and it's no Edwards Edwards ball around the corner looking for Jordan Davis Davis he's got Wild running into the box falls for Franklin and uh, it's in the back of the net <laughs> but the whistle had blown good play again down the right this time it was Jordan Davis out there a good cross I think it was just a push by Harry Franklin. Yeah, I think he was too eager to get to the ball. We'll see it again here, Mac. Here it comes. So there's the good run from Jordan. He's just glanced. I think he's looking for Mike Wilde. Yeah, 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 it's, it's just a shove, wasn't it? Yeah. And Danny Harrison, I think, by uh, Harry Franklin.
approaching the last 10 minutes here at Castlefield. And uh, as things stand, Connors Key into the hat for the uh, the quarter final draw on Wednesday. Franklin back to Declan Poole. Stevens with the throw. Franklin. It's too much on that one. Just uh, gives the ball to Josh Jones. Lacey. Lacey looking for the run. Of, uh, it was Jones who was up there, I think. Disney. Nash. He's just fought that partnership in the uh, centre of defence as well, hasn't he, Mark? You know, where uh, Ben, Ben Nash and Kai Edwards, um, two sturdy defenders, shall we say? Yeah, both really experienced as well. Obviously, Ben Nash, Player of the Month uh, last month, you know, and, and yeah, Gibbo seems to to like uh, you know Nash Edwards that he's played with him. You know, previously it's a great ball. Played with them previously, and yeah, that, that, that experience it, and they give them that start. They both enjoy the ball at the feet. They both play out, and, and and that starts, you know, a lot of their attacks. So yeah, they both had really good seasons, uh, and yeah, Nash has been a standout performer. Attendance of two hundred and ninety-five. Brave souls who have ventured out in, uh, in the awful conditions. And things seem to be abating a little bit. Franklin. Edwards just uh, picks up the pieces in midfield. There's no Edwards. Finds Jordan Davis. Davis to Mike Wild. That uh, Wild back to no Edwards. He's got Ryan Harrington. Harrington to Morris. Morris. To Harrington, Harrington to Edwards once again. Edwards allowed to turn, finds a Harrington. He was caught there by Morgan Roberts, and it'll be another opportunity here for for Connors Key just to whip the ball in at Josh Tibbetts. Yeah, I think that's when Connors Key are at their best when they're moving the ball one or two touch around the box. You know, good interchange. And I just think the game now for Flint just gone a little bit stale. As I said, it looks like they. Yeah, take 2-0. And then go and concentrate in the coming north, which, as we spoke about earlier, Bryn, a really competitive league. Now it's John Disney and Declan Poole standing over the uh, the free kick. It's a cursory wall of two as uh, Poole just runs away. Disney! And it's uh, headed away as far as, uh, as uh, Callum Morris. Effort comes into the back of the net. Lovely, lovely shot. And it's Kai Edwards. Kai Edwards with his first goal of the season. And it's uh, it's all over now. It's uh, Flint nil, Connors Key 3. Yeah, that's it now. Bring great finish by Kai. We just spoke about both centre-halves liking the ball at the feet. And Kai's just demonstrated that. Both good technicians. And that's a great strike back stick. Good flick on by Wildy. Left on to Kai. That's a great finish, and he's happy with that. But that's the problems that Mike Wild can cause. Good finish. Not a bad finish from a centre back. For Connors Key, I think we can safely say Mark into the uh, the hats for the draw. Yeah, they'll be in it Wednesday. So a lot of the big teams still there, of course. Of uh, TNS is still there. Ballow won today, and uh, Cardiff Mets they beat uh, Haverford West on penalties. Buckley will be there. And uh, because any either of uh, Colin Bay and Barry Town is uh, Harry Franklin. 
I think a fourth goal would be a bit rough on uh, Flint Town, to be honest, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would make it look you know, more damaging in, than it's been. As I said, I think Flint have played some nice stuff. They've had they've had their moments, they just haven't been clinical. And when, when we spoke about that, you know, Kai there, that's clinical. Good flick on from Wildy. And he struck it in the back of the net. And, and they're the moments I think Flint have missed uh, this evening. The goals by uh, Anthony Stevens, Jack Kenny, and uh, Kai Edwards. And it's uh, Neil Gibson's side. Uh, moving on to the next round. And as Mike said, Flint can concentrate on the, the JD Cumbria North. Just and can't. To maintain their, uh, their unbeaten run. I just can't think of the save that Andy Firth's had to make tonight. And some of the play's been good up until that point. And I think when they look back, you know that that, that that that's what Lee Fowler will say. We just ha we haven't been clinical. And there's a triple change coming up for uh, Connors Key. It's going to be uh, Josh Williams, Aaron Williams, and uh, Daniel Roberts. Gibbo sorting out the appearance fees for the boys <laughs> here, Bryn. <laughs> Christmas coming up. Uh, Cost of living crisis. <laughs> So Noah Edwards to be placed by uh, Josh Williams. So Edwards off, Williams on. Also departing. Jordan Davis departing to be placed by uh, Aaron Williams. And then uh, Daniel Roberts will come on to replace Callum Morris. So Davis off, Morris off, and uh, Edwards off. And Dan Roberts, another former Flint Town player, coming on. So uh, apart from the goalkeeper, John Rushton, he's emptied his bench. So Roberts and uh, both Williamses are on, Josh Williams and Aaron Williams. Yeah, just fresh legs. Good night for all three that have just come off. All played well. Very consistent now. I think when you look throughout the season, you know, Noah Edwards, Jordan Davis, who's been, who's been in, you know, electrifying form in front of goal. And, and yeah, they, they, they've had a good night and, and Gibbo will be happy. Oh, good play. Ball nicked by uh, Morgan Roberts. Roberts under pressure from Harrington. Josh Jones, Jones, he was just caught by Harrington. Now I know Malcolm Allen will be uh, deciding or he'll be selecting his man of the match shortly, Mark, but uh, if you had to, who would, uh, who would the champagne go to? Oh, really interesting. I would go... Oh, you've put me on the spot now, Bryn. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay, I'll come. I'll, I'll give you a minute give or so to think. Okay, have a think. I'll have a think. Have a think as we uh, as we watch this free kick. It's uh, Louis Lacey and the uh, Jake Phillips. Is it a consolation for Flint in the final two minutes or so of the ninety? Lacey whips it left foot. It's a good one to the far post. It's still there. Stevens. Stevens plays the ball back in. That uh, the ball had run out. Is it offside? Possibly, I think it's a run out. I'm, I've decided I'm going to go for Declan Poole. Yeah. If it was me, I think he's he's been a threat all evening down the right hand side. The two, you know, we spoke about has he got the defensive qualities, and he showed that in the first half. A great, you know, block. Uh, and yeah, on the ball, I think he's been superb tonight. So it'll be interesting what Malcolm up there we uh, goes with. We await with bated <laughs> breath, Mark Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope you're right. <laughs> Disney Nash and here's Declan Poole Mark Williams is man of the match now to uh, Aaron Williams Williams just motors forward and uh, takes a deflection goes out for a corner kick and is there a fourth goal uh, into the final minute of the 90 Now it's 
Declan Pool with the corner kick whipped in. That was a good header out. Lacey. Ball lifted in. Back for up Phillips. A lovely ball to release Morgan Roberts. Roberts, he's got Josh Jones outside him. Back pro in the middle. Now to Jones. Now can Jones get the cross away? And uh, you know, the opportunity was there, but it's uh, Josh Williams will uh, carry the ball. That feel two minutes. Two minutes added on. And I think that uh, Mr. Petch has been kind with uh, Flint there, to be honest. Jones. Oh, Jones does well to go past Edwards. Jones into the box. And uh, cleared away. Akpo Akpo just couldn't uh, capitalise. And it's Harrington who wins the... Or concedes the throw-in, rather. Really good play by Jones down the right-hand side. One more Jake Phillips long throw, I think. Yep. And then I think they're going to announce the man of the match, Mark. Phillips with a long ball. And that one will head out. It's a corner kick. A corner kick in the last minute. Taken quickly by Phillips to Lacey. Lacey. There'll be another corner kick. I'm sure they'll launch this one into the box. Louis Lacey into the uh, the final throws of the match here at the Castlefield. Lacey, it's a poor one, far far too deep. It's only as far as uh, Kavanaugh gives the ball away cheaply does Kavanaugh to uh, Josh Williams. Williams looking for Harry Franklin. Franklin, can he keep the ball in play? He does so. Ball runs out, and here's your man of the match, by the way, Mark. Malcolm has gone for Harry Franklin. To be fair, I was they were the two in my mind, Harry Franklin or Declan Poole. Uh, both have had really good games and we spoke about, you know, how lively Franklin is, the good feet, you know, he's caused problems. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna argue with that. I'll have to I'll have to find Declan and give him another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Ford. We've played the two minutes over the ninety. Flint still pressing. We've got to commend them for that. Akbak pro. Morgan Roberts. He's got Ford outside him. Just falls kindly for Ben Hughes. Hughes to the far side, and that'll be a corner kick. Will there be time? I think Mr. Petch just uh, allows the game to continue. Corner kick left. For Jake Phillips. Now then, he'll whip this one in. Everybody up for Flint Bar, the keeper. As uh, Lacey just lifts the ball into the box. The referee says, Enough is enough. It's Connors Key who are into the third round. It was an own goal by Anthony Stevens that set us off within the first five minutes, veering the ball into his own net. Jack Kenny will be credited with the second on uh, 58 minutes and then uh, 8 minutes from time Kai Edwards scored the third it was a comfortable victory in the end final score here Flint nil, Connors Key 3 Nick Malcolm Jock and Vaur Iawn Dyna ni Mi oedd na gem Mi oedd na fydd y goliaeth Nid y tîm cartre Y tîm sy'n chwarae yma Y tîm cartre swydd o golodd Flint Fel yn ei gweud yn cei corna and team long are travel. Manu drew the round of the Ten and a half cup on Flint. Yeah, cup on Evid. No, the Mike and all. And the map we see then a Roy Thola. He didn't have any game with the Cali Gaheria. By calling our party, of course, for the new party of the Snatch that. And a couple of them did all roll draw. The King Raya E7 can sell well enough. Buckler no money. The Flint or Dreadhead Hine and round the Roy Thola. And in a club, I was going to come to JD. Bethany Glowed, Ganner Fayolor, 
Bydd i gol gwrs i ddi ennill y copan yma. Hefyd gyda ffest atyn, dyrch yn ei glywed gan Neil Gibson. Mae fe gynnwys Johannes. Neil, Malcolm Allen described that as a totally professional performance by Connors Key in that game. You must be a very happy manager. Yeah, no, look, I think uh, it was always a potential banana skin. You, um, that's probably why the cameras were here, you know, filling against Connors Key. Lots of people from both sides, you know, have been, you know, in, in both changing rooms. So, um, Flint, I thought, were really good. You know, they um, they worked really hard. They caused us a couple of problems at different points, but I thought we were in co- complete control of the game for the majority of it. Um, but in the Cup, you're always aware that one moment can change the game. So when the third goal went in, we felt more comfortable. I have to say, of course, very challenging conditions, but fair play, both teams worked really hard to play some good football out there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think it, it was obviously, a, you know, a certain level at times because the conditions meant that you couldn't move the ball in the manner that you'd like to. But both teams tried to play some good football. I've watched Flint. I think they'll be, um, obviously, I've still got a bit of an affinity for it being an old club of mine. I hope they get go on and get promoted now this season. And I hope we go on and uh, go further in this cup competition and hopefully continue this form into the league. <laughs> Yeah, in terms of the league, you're four points behind TNS. You're through to the last days of the Welsh Cup. There's a lot to look forward to next year, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. I think that, you know, we've set certain targets for ourselves. I think we're playing in a different brand of football this season, which I think is, is, is clear for everybody to see. I think the lads are enjoying playing in this way. And uh, as long as the results keep coming, we'll continue to do that. And you, you only win games of football when you're enjoying it as well. You mentioned that your players are certainly enjoying this new style. How much does that mean to you as a manager when they're playing out there with a smile on their faces? Oh, absolutely. Um, look, it, it was difficult to try and you know change the, you know, the brand of play because Konski have been very successful over a number of years playing a certain way. We feel that this way suits our group better. Um, and when you see the things you work on the training ground so, ground so hard to improve, come out in matches, it's really uh, rewarding and all credit goes to the players and the staff. You've touched on setting targets, Neil. How close do you think you can get to TNS in the league? Well, look, I mean, lots of people have tried it at different points. I think at the moment, currently, unfortunately, you know, they're um, kind of in a league of their own. They can just go through the gears whenever they want to. Uh, We've just got to try and keep winning as many games as as, uh, football as possible and see where that takes us. Neil, appreciate your time. Thank you. So, what did you Can Neil Gibson and Van Amar Van Erendal Mae wedi tywelu, mae'r glaw wedi clirio. Yn i gymryd hynny, Sean. Sonny bod y dal yna. Ydy fi'n gwybod. Dydd ar ôl gan Neil Gibson yn am, yn nhw'n cael tymor da ar hyn o bryd. Cyti'n nod os ylwadau bod y seintiau newydd mewn, mewn cyngrair ar ben i hunain ar hyn o bryd? Wel, i ryw raddau, mae'n oherwydd y garfan sydd gyda nhw. Um, Dyn ni'n gyd yn gwybod bod nhw'n broffesiynol am nhw'n anneisio ac yn mynd o wahaniaeth. Fe felly, so pe nodd ceu conna yn broffesiynol dan Andy Morris yn oedd hwnna yn ffactor. Felly, mae yn anodd iawn cystadlu yn erbyn y seintiau newydd gyda y gyd o ffactorau hynny. Mae'r gwaniaeth yn y fersiwn yma o ceu conna, ceu conna Mac 2, <laughs> falle. Um, mae'n mae ddiddorol gweld sut mae wedi newid y tîm sut mae nhw'n datblygu ar hyn o bryd, be wneud i'r fersiwn bresennol o ceu conna. Well, mae'n gweithio'r y fôn, yn tynnu e. Dwi hefyd meddwl falle oherwydd bod nhw'n chwarae yn y flint, a mae'n edrych yn debyg fod nhw'n chwarae am yr hir dymor. Dwi'n mod, oedd y ca rhyw weithiau ddim yn greit yn ceu conna, felly... Ie, mae chi'n gallu chwarae'r hen steil fan hyn ar y ca yma? Well, cwestiwn da, fi'n siŵr bydd Andy Morrison yn gallu, yeah. ond... Um, <laughs> Y ffaith bod nhw'n chwarae ar, ar, ar gar plastig, mae popeth yr hyn peth, felly mae nhw'n gallu gweithio ar patrymau a mae nhw'n gwybod bod y tywydd er y tywydd yn ei wedi cael ddim yn mynd i fod yn ffactor. Andy Morris yn dwi'n hail gwynt yma, mi'n credu, mae wedi taflu popeth atyn nhw. Ni wedi clywed gan un rheol o'r dewch yn ei glywed gan rheol o'r ffllint nesaf, Lee Fowler. Lee, commiserations on the loss. What's the overall emotion and how do you assess your team's performance tonight? I thought it was a game of two halves, I think. I think I'm um, disappointed we lost the game, of course we are, but the manner in we've lost, I thought we, we matched them, especially first half, I thought we were the best team. It's a goal, a goal behind at half-time, especially the way the goal went in as well. I think it was an own goal from Steve, but the cross to come in and not being on our front foot, but at times there was not much difference between the two teams in the first half. Second half, I don't think they stuck to the, the game plan as much, and I think Disney got on the ball in the shape in midfield, sort of. They started finding the spaces that we tried to control in the first half. Um, and then they, they've scored the third goal. So, yeah, disappointed we've lost, but I was really proud of the performance, especially against the teams who are flying high in the league above. Yeah, you definitely caused them problems at times, but that 
second goal felt like the sucker punch. It was quite hard for you guys to react after that. Yeah, of course. I think you know if you, if when you have a game plan to the players and it, it hasn't come off in their minds, um, as soon as the second goal went, you could see a few of them a little bit deflated, and then that sort of five to ten yard, ten yard run, which they were doing in the first half. I think as soon as their second goal was in there, it was like they're playing on their back foot, and you can hear me shouting on the sidelines, the same front foot, front foot. But listen, they've given me everything as they always will do. Um, we won't come up against a team like that in our league, and if we play like that in the team in our league, we'll, we'll cause a lot of teams problems. I know you won't want to make excuses, but I have to ask about the conditions. Really challenging conditions. Do you think that had an effect at all? No, I thought both teams tried to get a ball down and play football. So it has been windy. It is, you know, that's no excuse at all. The goals have gone in and we've lost 3-0. And it's something that we've we conceded for against Landidlis as well. So I want to sort of get rid of that habit, really, especially in our league. But I thought the weather was OK. Just a bit cold, a bit windy. <laughs> I think you're the only person that thought the weather was OK. You've mentioned the league, that you, know, you won't come across a team like this in the league. There's a lot to look forward to, isn't there? And you'll certainly be looking to finish 2023 as strongly as you can. 100%. As I said, it's last season's mentality was quite different because we were up against it from day one. This season is a completely different mentality for myself and the football club. We want to be successful. We change the style of play, which I think is evident to see from last season. You know, the, the average height of our team is shot down to from six foot ten down to five foot eight. So, yes, and we're just improving and keep going. And then, obviously, the important thing is now we can focus back on the league now and go and win as many games as we possibly can. Lee, appreciate your time, dear. Thank you. Simi and Boards are uh, five foot eight. Can I show? Lee Fowler. Oh, then happy stuff to with Sean. <laughs> oh, then I don't go to them landing again. Three get a Malcolm Al and Nick Parry. Guy then a dolig and the club from him. Ned Angel and Seren. See our top of guy then. On Queen Lee Fowler. Um, yeah, do them on Angel. Watch your foot and Seren for him. Uh, no flint. So on the Isle Hanner. Uh, where did he go? Well, a dig with the other a golia. So this is going to be a cake and rounds a Roy Thola and now we're going to take the Chicago. A round of an honour. Um, yeah, Beth Amaral, Hannah, and I think Team Love, oh, this is Team Love, and our vote for the Golden Dodd. Well, also, but any way to put some money, Calahuara, and where to get a Frank Lynn, or a Finder Guagle, a Finder Basque, or a man and go van. I'm telling you, I'm sure I'm going to go to the Hina, and come here, it didn't be the fourth or some idiot gun, uh, Kay Connor. I think you'll have a goal of Savo. Well, Jack Kenny, you've a long show. Do you want to stop you? Yeah. In our actual kin, we're going to flint. I've been in my high, you build roads. I need to, I don't know. just now, we're on a gasson, we're on a three board on a kaiver. Well, they should have been a one year, Heaven, and that the Riol or Stephen Creddy, and that the Belkin Ruyer, to your Stephen Turk Nolte, and the Riol were on Creddy, and that the Royd Hudder, it's even after the Hore. I don't know any of this, and Hore, Jack Kenny are in a boot. Yeah, I don't know any Kelty going to Matsev. Ar ôl y gêm yma, a fydd y goliaeth i creu cona nôl â ni y tsioned. Problemau fan yna, o'n i'n disgwyl rhyw problemau gyda'r gwynt ar glaw yma. Na ddo fenn o'n i'n drill datrys hynny, o'n i'n ôl at y tsioned nawr. O'n just... Gwydd newidiad yr anna garfan, mwy o foes ifanc, mwy o foes cyffroes, tiad... Mae'n ddiddorol, y Cwpan Cymru er enghraifft, os yw yn ystyried, Neil Gibson, bod y gynghrair yn rhy bell, tiad... Bydd y Cwpan yn uh, dipyn opsiwn o ran cei cona. Siel, to chwarae mewn ffeina, le gati, to mae fe'n rhywbeth ti'n edrych nôl, a dwi'n meddwl, wow, fi wedi tico hwnna, bant. A, to, mae'r cwpan un anna hanes, felly, to, mi fydd yn edrych i rhoi rhediad uh, go dda uh, yn y cwpan. A, a wedi'n gobeithio herio y seintio newydd uh, tuag at ffrig y tabl. Ni wedi gweld yr ail gol. Dyrch yn ni weld y gol ola fan hyn. O ran cei cona. Ac un oeth at, pa mae'r anna ddiwyf? Fel uh, chwrae yn y chwrae wyr y ffrint allan yna, chi'n gofod y gem o'r ben. Yeah, well, to what a tried to goal uh, on our nail in the coffin, but it's like Kai Edwards and in our Ben Nigo that has done a lot of answer. I really wish they were clearer. I think I'll go more the answer if they don't land Danny. Danny, well, the national team is coming on a long way on a flick of a wild hour in. Can he Ben Nigo see? Go with an Indian say this at Hoy. Yeah, it's a bit difficult. Can Kai Edwards for now? He's close in so happy. Have it. So. Mae'n edrych yn arall yn edrych yn mwyn hau i bil drod o'r un o bryd. Ie, yeah, dwi'n cael fe oedd y lawr i gyngrair y gogledd. Um, a rhyw eithaf mae'n anodd os ti'n mynd lawr gyngrair iddo nôl a chwarae ar y lefel hyn. Ond yn sicr, o'n i siarad am uh, 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 Mark Williams ar ddechrau'r rhaglen, mae fyr yn ei rhyn peth, mynd lawr lefel a oedd mynd nôl i gynarfon, a, a wir mwyn hau i bil drod o'r. Ie, yeah, cyn yn ei ffrwylio chi, yn ei drio'r tod o'r cyfaliad na, efe nôl yn ei atsioned. Okay, 
Ond i dal yn cael problemau, dwi'n credu. Dyna ni, noson fel ar oedd un. Cyfnod y Dolig sy'n agos rhai nawr, ti wedi bod na fel chwaraewr yn y gynghrau yr yma. Mae'n brysedd, yw i'n gyfnod heriol i'r clybiau hefyd? Ie, mae'n rhaid i gofi heblaw am y seintiau newydd. Mae pawb arall yn rhan amser, tro'n mynd i ti y balancing act o, 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 o teulu a, a, a plant y gati. Felly, a wedi ni'n dyrhediad o, o gym mynd o lan. Felly, mae, mae yna anodd fel, fel chwaraewr rhan amser. Ie, a ni'n disgwyl... Ge mae darbi'n dod hefyd, mwy na wastad yn help yn y cyfnod yna, cael y torfeydd allan, mae'n anodd heno, yn dal chi'n gael tipyn y dorf yn dod, yn dod yn un. Rhaid nhw'n cuddio yn y clwb chwarae teg, mae'n mae cyfnod y ddorol ran y wargylch achlysur hefyd. Ie, yeah, ti wastad yn gobeithio am um, tro, dorf da ar, 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 ar oil yn y dolig, dwi'n meddwl, o'n i'n cofio wari gyfyrddyn, o'n, o'n i'n cael abryswydd am rhywreswyl, 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 o'n i